Alrighty folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We've got an update on the, the service member that got his demon uh, basically bought up from underneath him. And I got a little clarification from my last video. I know I bounced around quite a bit, so hopefully I can clarify that in this video. So, let's get to it. Okay, so to clarify the situation, hopefully I can make this uh, pretty pretty clear. Uh, I'll put it up up here or, or up here. So, customer A is going to be the service member. Customer B is going to be the customer that bought that service member's demon. In which, customer B actually wanted a triple nickel which is a color from dodge a triple nickel demon but that car was sold up from up underneath him so that that's the complete situation customer customer b was going to buy a triple nickel demon 170 the dealership sold that car up underneath him so to try and make it right for customer B, they sold them customer A, the service members, Demon 170, leaving the service member out cold without a Demon 170, which is the one he actually specifically ordered. So hopefully that, that, that clears it up, kind of clears up the situation. So here's the update. Now I got this update off of TK Garage's YouTube channel. So if you want it from the horse's mouth, you can go to his channel. He's got uh, emails and other things that he puts in, puts in, puts in his video. But I'm just trying to one clarify my last video. So hopefully that clarified it, and then give you. Uh, uh, a down and dirty of his update so you guys know what's going on so the dealership has reached out to both customer a the service member and customer b the person that bought the service members ordered demon 170 and what what, what they're going to try to do is what's called and i'm not a car dealer i'm not a finance guy um, is what's called unwind the deal. So from what I'm understanding is that when you finance a car through the dealership, that funding doesn't get funded for 30 to 45 days after you purchase the car. So what you're able to do within that 30 to 45 days is what's called unwind the deal. So my guess is what they're going to try to do is buy that service member's F8 Green Demon 170 back from customer B and then give, uh, give the service member an opportunity to, to buy that Demon. Now, TK outlines, <laughs> outlines it quite a bit too. Yes, there's going to be miles on there. Yes, that dude's been sitting in the seat. Uh, I think TK said, yeah, you know, the guy's probably farted in your seat or whatever. Uh, and, and it's going to have miles on it. So now technically, right, he called it a demo car. I'll say a used car uh, because it's going to have miles on it when he gets it back. So what's unclear to, to date right now is what price that service member is going to pay for his demon 170 if he even wants to buy that demon 170 now now that it's now that it's been used and he may very well I, you know I, if it were me I, I would i would probably go ahead and, and buy it because that's the one i ordered with with this you know the specs that i wanted 
I apologize. I'm shaking a little bit. There's a little bit of wind noise, uh, but it, it's cold today. If you can't tell, it's overcast and and crazy. But hey, there's Bean. There's Indigo. Get out of her back. Get out of her. Well, there's Bean and Indigo. But anyway, so what seems to be what's going to happen is they're going to try to unwind this deal and get the service member his F8 Green Demon 170. Now, obviously, there's a, there's a lot that's got to that's got to happen, right? Customer B has to want to sell back that demon. The service member would want to have to buy that demon 170 after all of this has occurred. And then what they do for customer B, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Um, they obviously have another demon coming because they were going to offer that to the service member. So it sounds like they have another Demon 170 coming or, or an allocation for one. But um, that that's that's the latest update. Uh, as I catch stuff online, I'll come back, try and update you, you folks as well. But TK Garage on YouTube, Butter Duh Insider, D-A Insider, uh, are, are two of the guys that are that are following this. Uh, a lot closer than I am. These guys have actually got contact from the GM of the uh, of the dealership, and some other stuff has gone back and forth. Um, you know, there's some some dealerships outside of uh, Mississippi that have chimed in, uh, put some questionable comments out there. You can see that on TK Garage's channel, and you can see it on Butter to Great's channel, and their IGs. So check out their Instagrams as well. Uh, but so this has gone a long way already. So this is this has already reached out to other dealerships. So if you go to TK, I keep referencing TK Garage's channel because he's got a lot of good stuff and outlines this stuff really well. And he he literally has you know the words from the emails and and stuff. But Mac Hike dealerships all over that area are just getting roasted uh, in, in reviews. Uh, because of this incident um, you know those those dealerships are coming back and say hey that's not us that's not our dealership that's another dealership somewhere else but like TK TK said hey when you're part of the conglomerate you're part of the conglomerate right uh, Mac hike is, is the name that's on your dealership so when suck when what one, one bad apple spoils a whole bunch right so that's that's what's going on here one bad apple spoils a whole bunch so um so yeah it's not going unnoticed by a lot of people and a lot of different dealerships uh i would venture to say um i know for a fact dodge has also reached out uh to the service member and butter butter the great uh, or butter the insider he's butter the great on ig um, reached out to him uh, and said they're going to make it right so uh, I'm pretty sure there's some serious conversations going on between Dodge and in and, and this particular dealership along with uh, you know there may be some cuss words thrown in there <laughs> like uh, you know what the blank are y'all doing down there what happened now do I think we'll ever find out exactly what happened I, I don't do I think Dodge is going to do anything to the dealership to punish them? I don't think so. Right? Because they're a customer of Dodge. They're buying Dodge's products. Um, so I, I don't I don't see any kind of punishment coming to, to Mack Hike of Flowood, Mississippi, uh, specifically. But I'm sure there's some high-level conversations going on with the general managers, uh, the CEO, and, and, you know, those high-up corporate folks. But just wanted to give you all a quick little update on, on what, I've, what I've seen. Uh, as I see more, um, hopefully we'll get some indication on what this service member actually had to pay. And I'd be curious to see if customer B actually gets taken care of as well. Because now he's screwed out of a Demon 170. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, you know, you can keep following me or you can follow. TK's been doing a lot. 
I haven't seen much from Butter the Great or Butter the Inside. Excuse me, Butter the Insider, but TK uh, TK's Garage on YouTube. He's been posting a lot. So as I get that information, I'll come back and relay that to you, and we'll we'll, we'll kind of go from there, folks. So there's your update. Hey, if you're stopping in for the first time, please check out the rest of the channel. If you like the rest of the channel, what's going on, please do me them few things. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me a comment, share it on your social media. I'll definitely appreciate it. Shake and Bake will definitely appreciate it because every red penny from YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake. That's it for this one, folks. Till the next time, adios.